If I may, I'd like to make a suggestion. When it comes to reckless love and loving people like Jesus, you had better be open for interruption. What do you mean? I'm glad you asked. You see, Jesus was the king of being open to interruptions. No matter what was going on in his day, if something needed to be done, he took the time to do it. Almost every amazing story you read in the Bible was Jesus being interrupted by somebody that wasn't on his to-do list. And let me tell you something, there's so many amazing things that God wants to do in your life every day, and you didn't write them down on your to-do list. But what do we do? We spend our days stuck right here in our phone. And if you spend all day in your phone, you're gonna miss everything good God has for you. He has so much he wants to do in your life, but you must be open to the interruption. I remember getting asked by a large conference to have me come and speak at it, but they wanted me to go to one event first to test it out to make sure they liked me. I wrote the best message I'd ever written in my life. I was passionate, I was excited to bring it. I was gonna show them I deserved a spot on their stage. I got there to speak, I jumped on the stage and I started giving the best message I had ever done in my life. But there was a problem. I had told a story about how I prayed for someone and they got healed. In that moment, there was a little boy on the front row who shot his hand up in the air over and over. And I'm thinking, that's not how this works, kid. I've got a microphone, you don't. I talk, you listen. Somebody has to tell him he's not gonna answer your question. But nobody did. His hand kept shooting into the air. It was distracting me. I'm, I'm giving the best message I ever have. Eventually I said, yo, what do you need? And he said, Mr. Kelly, how many people have you healed? To which I replied, zero, bro. I can't heal anybody but Jesus can heal anyone. And you can pray for people just the same way I can. Jesus will use you just like he uses me. This was the perfect response because it shut him up and I could get back to my message. I'll never forget though, I finished it and the people who were supposed to come and hear me to see if they liked me didn't even show up. So that went great. However, a few weeks later, I got an email from a youth group that had been at that conference. And they said, we loved what you taught on with reckless love. We loved it so much that we wanted to go out into our own city and try loving people like Jesus. They attached a picture in this email where they told about how they went to the park to find people to pray for. And they found a lady who had a problem walking. She could barely get around and they gathered around her to pray for her. And guess who was in the middle of that circle with his hands on her legs? It was that little boy. It was that little boy. And when I saw that picture, I realized the only reason I was there to speak that day wasn't for me. It was for him. But if I wasn't open to that interruption, then there would be one little boy out there who did not know the power of Jesus, that he and I both share the same God, and that if I can pray for someone, he can pray for someone. Let me tell you, God has amazing things in store for you, but you've got to be open to the interruption. See, some of you right now, as you're watching this, you feel God interrupting your mind, interrupting your heart, and he's calling out to you. And the question is, are you gonna answer? You see, if you wanna know more about the reckless love of Jesus, you can click this link right here, right now, and there's somebody waiting, ready to talk to you, pray with you, and give you more information. But let me tell you, if you're ready right now, and you're like, Kelly, I can't wait anymore, I've gotta make a decision now, let's do it. I don't see any better time than right now. The Bible says if you want the gift of love that Jesus has for you, all you have to do is believe he is who he says he is and ask him into your heart. So I say we do it right now. Just pray along with me. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying for me. Thank you for giving your life for me. I will take this time to be interrupted by you and give you everything I have. Take my life and make me new. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my past. Let me start over with you. Thank you for loving me. In Jesus' name, amen.
I'm so excited. That's the best decision you're ever going to make. Let me tell you, go out and love like Jesus loves you and be open to interruption because I promise you, God's got something amazing for you.